Hello dear students, I am Srikar Gupta, Faculty of Mathematics from Medizi. In this lecture or in this video, I am going to give you the solution of one of the previous year gate examination question, previous year gate examination question, which was asked in electrical gate examination paper. Okay. Now, so this question, if we, before discussing about this question here, first of all, this question is belongs to the probability and statistic topic here. Okay. From the probability statistic topic, this question is chosen. And now, and this question is related to uniform distribution, which is also called as rectangular distribution here. Okay. So now let's discuss first about the uniform distribution here. Uniform distribution. Now, basically, uniform distribution means what? The name itself says it is uniform probability distribution. That means the probabilities are distributed uniformly. So, like if you want to see this exactly here. So, this is our random variable suppose and this is our probability density function suppose here. Now, within an interval a comma b, within an interval a comma b here, if the probabilities are distributed uniformly, if the probabilities are distributed uniformly, so means it is constant here. So, if the probabilities are distributed uniformly for all x belongs to interval a comma b, so then, so this kind of curve you are going to see it here. So, this kind of probability curve you are going to see, which is understood as a constant function, which is understood as a constant function. We all know that the and the probability distribution is the probability distribution of the random variable is forms a rectangular or not. So therefore, it is also called as rectangular distribution. It is also called as rectangular distribution. Okay. It is also called as rectangular distribution here. Now, if you want to find out this constant for the interval a comma b here. As we all know that here the area under this curve must be is equal to 1 or not. If this probability density function, if this probability density function is, if, if it is f of x is a probability density function means the area under this curve must be is equal to 1 here. So therefore, I should say this area is equal to 1. This area is equal to 1. Since this area is a rectangular area, so therefore the area of this rectangle is equal to here the length into breadth. So that is k into b minus a is equal to 1. So where you are getting k is equal to 1 by b minus a where within the interval x equal to x uh, within the interval a comma b here. So for this interval a comma b. So, this f of x is understood as k, which k is given by 1 by b minus a. So, this is the probability density function here. The probability density function f of x is equal to k, which is 1 by b minus a for the interval of a to b and 0 elsewhere. Because this probability distribution is defined only in the interval a comma b, not elsewhere. ठीक है और कहीं डिस्टर्ब कहीं डिफाइन नहीं होगा ओनली जी ए टू बी के अंदर ही डिफाइन होगा राइट सो दैट इज व्हाट एग्जैक्टली आई हैव रिटन व्हाट इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी डेंसिटी फंक्शन फॉर द यूनिफॉर्म डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन हियर ठीक है इसके लिए एक्सपेक्टेशन क्या होता है एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ एक्स so generally expectation of a random variable of a probability distribution is understood as the mean. It is understood as the mean here. So this E of x which is given by integral a to b x into fx of x into dx here. x into fx of x dx here. So this is the expectation of the random variable for the uniform distribution here. Now. I can write still more clearly that a to b x into, so what is fx of x is for the interval a to b is 1 by b minus a into dx here. So 1 by b minus a into ax dx here. So this is what exactly 
द एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ एक्स एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ एक्स फॉर ए यूनिफॉर्म डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन रैंडम वेरिएबल ओके सो दिस इज द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द यूनिफॉर्म डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन हियर सो दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर डूइंग द क्वेश्चन विच इज गिवन इन द प्रीवियस इयर गेट एग्जामिनेशन हियर सो पहले क्वेश्चन आपको कॉन्सेप्ट मिल गया सो so, जो कॉन्सेप्ट जो जरूरत है यूनिफॉर्म डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन के लिए तो वो तो मैंने पहले ही एक्सप्लेन किया हूं ठीक है तो उसी को यूज करके हम इसका प्रॉब्लम कर रहे हैं दिस इज अ वेरी गुड एप्लीकेशन ओके ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म प्रॉबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन हियर इट्स अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन वेरी क्वालिटी क्वेश्चन हियर हम बोल सकते हैं ठीक है तो यहां पर क्या दिया है एग्जैक्टली exactly? ये कौन सा फिनामिना दिया है और कौन सा प्रॉबिलिटिस्टिक मॉडल है सो लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द एक्सपेरिमेंट प्रॉपरली हियर एज्यूम दैट इन ए ट्राफिक जंक्शन a cycle of traffic a cycle of traffic a cycle of traffic signal lights is 2 minutes of green and 3 minutes of red here so he said a cycle of a cycle of 2 minutes of green light and 3 minutes of green light he said green light he said so a cycle of this a cycle of these 2 minutes of green and 3 minutes of uh, sorry 2 minutes of green and 3 minutes of red yes 3 minutes of red here so i should say this one is red here 3 minutes of red here okay now this is what the data which is given to us this is what the data is given to us now he is asking that consider the arrival time of the vehicle at the junction it follows uniform distribution over a 5 minute cycle so within a 5 minutes of cycle you know that 2 minutes will be green and 3 minutes of red here so that we have to keep in mind right now he has said that given that x is equal to so i will suppose the arrival time of the vehicle as x here so i will say arrival time so x is equal to arrival time of the vehicles of the vehicle at the junction at the junction follows uniform distribution follows uniform distribution over here 5 minutes of cycle so i am taking one particular interval of 5 minutes that is of 0 to 5 minute so this is our interval i suppose and now we are going to see the uniform distribution of the arrival time of the vehicles in a 5 minutes of cycle here that is 0 to 5 interval so if this is the thing here i'll suppose this is a comma b here right in this case here so what is the probability density function here the probability density function here it is 1 by b minus a so that is 1 by 5 minus 0 which is 1 by 5 for the interval of 0 to 5 here for the interval of 0 to 5 so if your arrival time is between this 5 minutes of cycle 5 minutes of cycle so the probability density function of the arrival times here it is 1 by 5 according to uniform distribution theek hai beta ye hai hamara f of x hai now what he said is that what is asking here he is asking us to find out the expected the expected waiting time for the vehicle at the junction is dash so that means he is asking us to find the find the expectation of finding the expectation of here waiting time at the junction waiting time at the junction in a 5 minutes of cycle here in a 5 minutes of cycle here so this is what he is asking in the question ye puch raha hai beta ab ye karne ke liye pehle hum expectation of waiting time see we know that x is the arrival time but he is asking the expectation of what waiting time so now we will define the waiting time here it is so what is that waiting time here now i will suppose p is equal to 
वेटिंग टाइम अगर मैं टी को वेटिंग टाइम समझते हैं तो नाउ विद इन दिस फाइव मिनट ऑफ साइकिल हियर हाउ द वेटिंग टाइम एग्जिस्ट एंड हाउ डू यू कैलकुलेट द वेटिंग टाइम ऑफ द व्हीकल एट द जंक्शन विद इन दिस फाइव मिनट ऑफ साइकिल डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन ए साइकिल ऑफ टू मिनट ऑफ ग्रीन एंड थ्री मिनट ऑफ रेड सो हियर आई एम सपोजिंग हियर आई एम सपोजिंग हियर लेट द फर्स्ट टू मिनट इज ऑफ ग्रीन सिग्नल सपोज एंड द नेक्स्ट थ्री मिनट नेक्स्ट थ्री मिनट ऑफ रेड सिग्नल सपोज द नेक्स्ट थ्री मिनट ऑफ रेड सिग्नल सपोज सो इन ए साइकिल ऑफ फाइव मिनट इफ दिस इज द क्राइटेरिया इफ दिस इज द क्राइटेरिया दैट मीन्स द फर्स्ट टू मिनट्स ऑफ ग्रीन एंड थ्री मिनट्स ऑफ रेड सर हम ऐसे ही लेना है कुछ और तरीके भी लेना है तो नाउ यू कैन टेक एनी वे सो लाइक यू कैन टेक फर्स्ट थ्री मिनट्स ऑफ रेड एंड देन नेक्स्ट टू मिनट्स ऑफ ग्रीन बिकॉज ऑफ दिस यूनिफॉर्म डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो दैट डज नॉट मैटर इन विच ऑर्डर यू आर टेकिंग इट इज ओके वो मैटर नहीं करेगा क्योंकि ये यूनिफॉर्म डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन है ठीक है सो नाउ अगर हम समझते हैं कि फर्स्ट टू मिनट इज ऑफ ग्रीन एंड नेक्स्ट थ्री मिनट ऑफ इज रेड नाउ उसके लिए हम वेटिंग टाइम बनाएंगे बेटा अगर पहले दो मिनट इफ यू आर अराइवल टाइम इज इन द फर्स्ट टू मिनट अगर आप पहले दो मिनट के अंदर आप अराइवल होते हैं तो आप दो पहले दो मिनट में आप ग्रीन सिग्नल देखते हैं तो जब तक ग्रीन सिग्नल होगा तो वेटिंग टाइम बिल्कुल जीरो है so therefore i can say waiting time is calculated as zero if your arrival time is if your arrival time is between 0 to 2 if your arrival time if x means arrival time between 0 and 2 so then your waiting time will be taken as zero because of green signal because of green signal okay so now the next 3 minutes so in the next 3 minutes we have red signal so next 3 minutes here we have red signal next 3 minutes we have red signal so when the red signal is there so at at the fifth minute i can say like this okay at the fifth minute here so again green signal will come because green and red signals are cycle it's a cycle of 5 minutes of signal so first red first green signal then red then 3 minutes of red then after at the end of the fifth minute so again here the green signal will start so your waiting time is with respect to the fifth minute your waiting time is with respect to the fifth minute so when fifth minute at the fifth minute green signal will come and so that you are uh, you can leave there right or not सो so, अगर आप वेटिंग टाइम निकालना है सो लेट सी अंडरस्टैंड दिस वे ऑल ऑफ यू सो हियर इफ आई राइट लाइक दिस इफ यू आर अराइवल टाइम इज एट सेकेंड मिनट इफ यू आर अराइवल टाइम इज सेकेंड मिनट देन वॉट विल बी अवर वेटिंग टाइम हियर वेटिंग टाइम कितना है क्योंकि देखो आपको आपको मालूम है कि फिफ्थ मिनट पे आपको ग्रीन सिग्नल मिलेगा अगर आप सेकेंड मिनट में पहुंचते हैं तो क्या होगा आप तीन मिनट वेट करना पड़ेगा तो हाउ यू आर कैलकुलेटिंग इज बिकॉज यू नो दैट फिफ्थ मिनट पे आप ग्रीन सिग्नल मिलेगा सो विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू दैट टाइम सो फाइव माइनस टू सो विल गिव यू थ्री हियर सो थ्री मिनट यू आर गोइंग टू वेट हियर सपोज इफ यू आर अराइवल टाइम इज ऑफ थर्ड मिनट सो देन हियर द वेटिंग टाइम विल बी वॉट वेटिंग टाइम इज गिवेन बाई हियर फाइव मिनट ऑफ थ्री दैट इज टू फाइव माइनस थ्री टू हियर सो टू मिनट यू हैव टू वेट इफ यू आर वेटिंग टाइम इज सॉरी अराइवल टाइम इज फोर्थ मिनट देन वेटिंग टाइम विल बी फाइव माइनस फोर इज वन मिनट ओनली ठीक है तो अगर इफ यू आर अराइविंग इट सेकेंड मिनट यू नीड टू वेट फॉर थ्री मोर मिनट टू गेट द ग्रीन सिग्नल टू गेट द ग्रीन सिग्नल इफ यू आर अराइवल टाइम इज एट द थर्ड मिनट सो टू गेट द ग्रीन सिग्नल यू नीड टू वेट फॉर अनदर टू मिनट so this is calculated by 5 minus of the arrival time 5 minus of the arrival time 5 minus of the arrival time so therefore so from this from this scenario so what we can say here the waiting time is given by 5 minus x here 
So therefore, we understand here the waiting time is taken as phi minus x in the interval of 2 to 5. In the interval of 2 to 5 here. So now we have to find out the expectation of this waiting time. So by uniform distribution here, the expectation of the waiting time that is E of t is given by integral a to b t into fx of x into dx fx of x into dx here. So where a is 0 to 5 t into fx of x is 1 by 5 dx here. But if you look at this t, what is t is waiting time. So waiting time is a piecewise function. Since it is a piecewise function at 2, so therefore we will split this integration at 2. We will split this integration at 2 here and we write this one as 1 by 5 into what is t value in 0 to 2 here. In between x equal to 0 to 2, in between 0 and 2, so t value is taken as 0 dx. So when x is from 2 to 5, if your arrival time is 2 to 5, then what is your waiting time is here. So that is 5 minus x into dx here. And this will give you 0 plus 1 by 5 of integration of this one is 5x minus x square by 2 from 2 to 5 here. 2 to 5. If we calculate these terms, so you are going to get it as 9 by 10, which is 0 0.9. 0 0.9 here. So I hope all of you understood that how you are getting the expectation of waiting time at the junction. Here, actually the random variable was arrival time here, but you are finding the expectation for waiting time here. But the waiting time is depends on the arrival time here. So therefore, here we are able to formulating, we are able to write down exactly what will be the waiting time. And according to that, so we are using the formula of expectation by uniform distribution and thereby you are evaluating the expected waiting time of the vehicles at the junction here. So I hope you understood all of you. So this is one of the very good application of the uniform distribution here, right? So we'll see in the next video. Thank you.